This award has definitely encouraged me and inspired me to keep going with something I was already passionate about. It caught me by complete surprise. I think I was just so wrapped up in the production of my collection and so focused on it that I didn't actually see it coming. It's an honor, that's for sure. Especially coming from someone who sounds somewhat like-minded as myself, as far as being a dreamer and having big ideas. His dreams were larger than him, obviously. You know, to be able to be so creative, you have to be a dreamer. I think his work really was his life and defined him. He, he liked, uh, you know, dressing up uh, people. So it's nice to have the award because once a year it, um, you know, it allows you to reflect and recall and to meet the recipient and tell them a little bit about, uh, you know, who my dad was. Both Gabriel and I were born in Israel and his ambition was fashion and he always wanted to be a fashion designer. So uh, my father made it possible for him and sent him to Paris. From there he, he went to London, England and that's where he met uh, Tamara's mother. They came back to Canada and Gabriel uh, started uh, doing fashion design and worked for several manufacturers here in, in Vancouver. My dad let me come a lot of the time to the fashion shoots. He would use me when he did fashion spreads with children and so I uh, learned how to model a little bit. His ideas were new at the time for what uh, uh, the fashion industry was used to in Vancouver and uh, his career at Vancouver Magazine started I believe 1978 or 1979 where he became the fashion editor of the magazine. The column became quite quite popular over the years. Uh, he obviously was very successful in his time and that probably comes from being a bit of a dreamer and uh, a risk taker. I think he was definitely an innovator and uh, that's the legacy he'll leave. Regrettably my brother is not here to give this award out but if he were here to give the award out he would definitely tell the recipient uh, of this award to to follow her dreams but to make sure that she doesn't compromise on the integrity of her work and uh, do what she feels is necessary to achieve these dreams. So my collection was um, historically inspired costume lingerie. When you're passionate about it it just makes it that much easier. I had a great opportunity doing that with this whole collection too. It was just kind of completely left field. I had people ask me, oh, why would you want to do that, you know? And that was almost kind of off-putting, but at the same time, it's something I can stand behind. She's comfortable with that. She can take old ideas and, and bring them back to new and rework them. She didn't change her design because she faced issues with it. She stuck with it, and I think it speaks to her sense of, of calmness and of kind of self-assurance that she has about her work. It was very much like a dreamy, whimsical, sexy kind of feel that I was going for. Everything was very much integral. I mean, the, her choice of models at the end of the, uh, for the show, at the end of the season, uh, you know, the makeup, the accessories and stuff, it was all part of that, of, of Sophia's world, which was really nice to see. When you have a vision or when you have a dream, you're able to go for it and just stand behind it 100% and put everything you can into it. and be recognized for putting that amount of effort into something like that was such an honor because yeah, it just felt like the best thing in the world. 